Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth air poll for the Timberwood pack that is our live stream pack and uh, as for the air poll here make sure to check out the description so you can find a link to the poll and also to a quick reference so that you can easily see the wolves stats and some basic information about them. Now starting off for litter number four, we have Caracol, who actually has a coat that we haven't seen too much. It's popped up, I think, once so far. Uh, the Big Blaze Coat 838M from the Cool Coats pack. This is the, the Yellowstone Wolves. Uh, now Caracol also has these really brownish eyes. Again, I think that comes from Koji, uh, kind of from more from his side of the family, but they they, they blend quite well with the brownish, um, brownish marks in his fur here. You can see there's a bit of that brown mixed in. Uh, as well and so really really neat patterning again like I'm always complimenting all of the different coats I don't think there's one they've released that I haven't liked uh, they're all pretty darn good and uh, I, I really like the way that they work I don't think there's too many combinations that don't work well but we'll also go ahead we'll listen to his howls here kind of a mid-toned howl there and then for a secondary And a bit of a higher one there. Now he did not roll any of the customizations here. He did not get the radio collar. However, if you're a member of my Patreon or if you're subscribed on Twitch or a member of the J Plays channel here on YouTube, then you'll have the chance to submit your ideas for that either on the Patreon or if you're over 13, you're, you can do so in the supporter Discord server, which you should get access to if you're supporting the channel through any of those methods. You can submit ideas for what you think may have happened to these wolves between the time when they were a pup to the time when they became an adult. Adults. So if you think this guy maybe got a torn ear, maybe he got the mange tail, uh, maybe something's going on and you think that would be a good good customization for his character, you can submit your ideas there for a chance of having them may be made canon and used for the final wolf. Uh, but that is Caracal. As for his stats, he does have the plus one stamina, plus one speed, and minus two health. Once again, that minus two to health pops up quite frequently. Uh, that's because Puma had it, and so it seems that passed to most of the pups. And Caracal was the 14M member of the Timberwood pack. But that is Caracal. Next up we have... Dragonfly. And Dragonfly has the Mackenzie coat and these really dark chocolatey brown eyes that blend quite well with it. It's a very, very neat combination as well. Uh, again, all the pups are going to have genetic black coats because Puma had two black coat genes and Koji had two gray coat genes. So all the pups have one black coat gene and one gray coat gene. Uh, and that does mean that they will have black coats. And they also had the enhanced disease resistance from that because the way genetics interact is interesting. Unfortunately, that disease resistance didn't necessarily help this litter as much as we were hoping it would. Uh, we did have seven pups, but only five of them ended up surviving. We lost two of them to illness, so this was where some of the litters started to get a little bit rough. Uh, but Dragonfly, fortunately, was one of the survivors, and we can go ahead and listen to his howls here as well. Ooh, that's a deeper one again. There's the white patch on the throat of the Mackenzie coat as well. Let's listen to his secondary. Oh, and that's a much higher one. So he's got a little bit of range too. Uh, again, no customizations here, no radio collar, but if you have ideas for what could have happened to him between the time that he was a pup and the time that he became an adult, you can submit those either on the Patreon or if you're a member of the supporter Discord, you can also submit those there. But as for his stats, he has plus one to speed and only minus one to health, which is surprisingly high for this pack. He's got higher health than most of his siblings, even though it is still a minus one. Uh, and of course, he was the 15M member of the Timberwood pack. But that is Dragonfly. Next up we have Chevron. And Chevron has the uh, Hall of Fame 755M coat. Again, it is a black coat, even though it's a little deceptive because of how light it looks. You can see there is some black markings on it. And again, genetics are weird. They're just like that. <laughs> Genetically, it is a black coat, though. Uh, he also has these kind of, uh, kind of darker yellow eyes. They're not quite as saturated as some of the wolves have been, but they are still quite pretty. And let's also go ahead and we'll listen to his howls. Bit of a higher pitched one there, and then for a secondary. Oh, 
Oh, that's a really high-pitched one. Wow, so he's got some higher howls there. No customizations here, no radio caller, but as always, if you're a member of the Patreon or the Supporter Discord, you can submit your ideas for possible customizations we could add to him there. As for stats, he has plus one strength and minus one health, which is, once again, not as low as it could be. A little bit higher than the rest of the pack, so a little bit more uh, in the health department than they have. And, of course, he was the 16M member of the Timberwood pack. But that is Chevron. Next up, we have Cherokee. And she actually has the 302M Casanova coat from the Hall of Fame coats here. It's very pretty. Another black on white one. Another black coat, too. Uh, again, that's all the pups in this. <laughs> all of the pups in this have it. Um... But uh, she also has these very bright, yellowy, slightly greeny kind of colored eyes as well. A little bit of Puma's eye color in there. Again, Puma had more silvery green kind of eyes. Let's also go ahead and we'll listen to her howls. Ooh, that's a fairly high-pitched one. And then for secondary... Oh, that one's even higher. Uh, of course, too, no customizations here. She didn't get the radio caller. But if you're a member of the supporter Discord or of my Patreon supporting me there, then you'll have the chance to suggest your ideas for what you think could have happened to give her some customizations between the time when she was a pup and the time that she became an adult. As for her stats here, she does have plus one speed and minus one health. We're seeing a lot of minus one healths in this letter. I didn't notice that before. And of course, she also was the 9F member of the Timberwood Pack. But that is Cherokee, and last but not least, we have Leviathan. And Leviathan here has the 21M Founder's Coat. Uh, again, it's another one of those deceptively light-colored black coats. It looks a little bit more gray, but the reason that some of these coats that look like they should be gray are actually black coats is because they were able to actually gene test some of the real-life wolves. The Founders Hall of Fame and Cool Coats are all based off of real-life wolves, as are the Ambassador Wolves, uh, but they were able to actually genetic test a lot of these wolves and determine, oh, that's actually a black coat, even though it looks like it would be a gray one. So Leviathan does have a black coat. He's also got those same really silvery eyes that his mom had he really inherited that from her it seems like let's also listen to his howls here oh that's a really deep howl and then for his secondary And that's an extremely high-pitched one. Oh my goodness. So he's got quite the range. That might even be the biggest range we've ever seen for one wolf. Uh, he also has no customizations here, but he did get the radio collar as a body customization. But of course, if you have any ideas for other customizations he could have gotten, uh, and you're a member of either the supporter Discord or my Patreon, or both, depending... <laughs> um, then you'll have the chance to submit ideas for what could have happened in between the time that he was a pop and the time that he became an adult there. As for his stats, he got that plus one speed and only minus one health again. I think almost all of the pups, if not all of them in this litter, actually had a minus one rather than a minus two. So that's kind of an interesting development. And of course, Leviathan was the 17M member of the Timberwood Pack. But that is going to conclude this air poll. Make sure to check the description below so that you can see the link to the poll that you guys are going to be able to vote in. And uh, make sure that uh, you're, you're able to put your votes in there. You can also find a quick reference link to a spreadsheet that has all the information uh, on these wolves, their designations, their coats, their stats, etc. And some notes about them and what happened in the litter so that you can just more quickly reference back to that if you so desire to. But with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and to drop a follow at twitch t or at jzx535 on twitch.tv so that you can see when we're going to be going live. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And until then, this is Jay. Over and out.